Let's take a look at whether SO3, this is sulfur trioxide, is acidic, basic, or neutral in water. So we have this SO3, which is a gas. And if we look on the periodic table, here's sulfur and here's oxygen. So we have two nonmetals. So this will be a covalent compound, and we have these nonmetals here. They make up those covalent bonds. SO3, since we have both nonmetals, it's what we call a nonmetal oxide. We have our nonmetal and our oxygen, so nonmetal oxide. Let's look what happens when we put SO3 in water. So we have SO3, that's our gas. We put it with liquid water. We get this aqueous solution of H2SO4. This is sulfuric acid. So when we put SO3, when we bubble this through water, liquid water, we're going to get an aqueous solution of H2SO4, which is a strong acid. So when we put SO3 in water, we form an acidic solution. Let's take a quick look at the trends for metal oxides and nonmetal oxides on the periodic table. So we're looking at metal oxides here and then nonmetal oxides as we go across period three. So one, two, three. These elements right here, when they form oxides, and they react with water. So these over here are more basic. They form basic solutions. And then the nonmetals, they form acidic solutions. So as we go across period three here, we have increasing acidity of the solutions when we react with water. So that's the trend. And then we have our S here, the sulfur trioxide, sulfur trioxide, that'll form an acidic solution in water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.